a rookie and a champion are side by side as rookie Sarah Kiefer has a faster team than defending champion Ryan Redding. You know, the smooth run, the trail was great. I couldn't keep ahead of her, so she was a faster team. The John Bear Grease Sled Dog Marathon runs 300 miles along the rocky shoreline of Lake Superior. Thousands of spectators usually gather here by the start at Billy's Bar north of Duluth. This year it's closed for spectators due to COVID-19, but the mushers are prepared. The dogs are eager. The snow is falling and the race is still on. And the 37th annual John Bear Grease Sled Dog Marathon has officially begun. The trail gets hilly already at the first stage, from Billy's Bar to Highway 2. The rookie Sarah Kiefer leads the defending champion. The two of them got first into this first checkpoint, Highway 2. Sarah is running a team of Reddington's dogs. I was a little bit anxious in the, the week and the days leading up to the start of the race, but this morning everything was clicking really well and I felt good about my dogs and my gear, so all of my nerves were calmed and then the trail was beautiful, so I'm very pleased. I'm glad she's having a good race, but it's early on in the race so far, so we got a long ways to go, but, uh, but I think she's gonna do real good. But now Ryan Reddington is at a deficit. He's racing without his lead dog. Yeah, I dropped my main lead dog off. She's just gonna have some rest here and I'll continue racing without her. Two-time Bear Grease champion Blake Frecking is coping with all of the snow. You know, the snow was building up like this and you can see the booties were all blown out and it was collecting snow and it just got uncomfortable for him. Challenging, interesting conditions, but we'll keep on moving. Meanwhile, getting ready to take on the shorter 120 class, we find a very special dog named Indy. He's a blind sled dog. Due to an inherited condition, Indy lost his sight. Indy's ears are pointed forward all the time because he's hearing what's coming towards him as he's running. And it's not like we're doing him any favors, you know, where I say, oh, we got to have Indy on the team, so we're just going to bring him. We're bringing him because he's one of the best dogs, you know, based on the same criteria that we, that we judge all of our dogs. He just wants to run. Unexpectedly, John Fisher didn't stop at Highway 2, mushing on to Finland, the second checkpoint. Officials stated that his team was running strong and decided to let them burn off more energy. Um, it was in my, just in my race plan. It was not in my plan that I was gunning to, to do that to win. <laughs> the trail is a little bit soft here, but uh, dogs are happy. I'm happy. Anything can happen in a dog race, so stay tuned to see who will be the Bear Grease Champion of 2021.